Aloha, and welcome to the 40th edition of Portraits of Paradise. I'm Mike Buck, and we have a great show for you tonight. We're going to start by flying a very special kite with Troy Navarro. Man's fascination with the wind and the ocean has led to the development of many forms of sport and recreation that are now enjoyed by millions of folks all over the globe. Here in Hawaii, on land, the trade wind conditions are ideal for stuff like kite flying and hang gliding. On the ocean, we pull one another behind boats on water skis. We sail all sorts of vessels, and some even combine the ancient sport of kings with sailing, and that's called windsurfing. And just when most of us think now isn't that something, something new comes along. Twenty-seven-year-old Troy Navarro is on the cutting edge of a brand new sport. It combines elements of water skiing, windsurfing, and kite flying. It's called kite skiing, and there are less than a handful of people doing it in the whole world. But he hopes not for long. These kites can be flown either individually or in tandem much in the same way that we're, that we're attaching these right now. Tandem meaning that you can fly them uh, as more than one. Fly them single, you just put it at the end of the string rather than down along a solid line. Troy's been here about a year. He works at Prince Bill's. That's a great restaurant in the beautiful Western Kauai Hotel. When we went over there to check him out, the winds were too light. So he flew over here, and we started out at the Waimanalo Beach Park. Uh, looks like we've got some pretty steady winds here. Uh, I got a nice launch zone here, not too many pedestrians in the way. Doesn't look like anybody will get hurt. Uh, we've got enough room amongst the trees. We've got about 150 feet. So I say we uh, tie these things up and uh, see how they fly. Troy's toys gather the curious, sort of like a magnet. And wherever he goes, people are only too happy to help him prepare to do his thing. It's because they're preparing to watch him. If they go down into the water, what you do is you pick it up in the back, and you pick the kite up like this, OK? And then all the water falls out of the kite. Now, in order to actually ski on his board, the winds needed to be stronger. So we backed up and moved over to Lanikai, and things got better. And Troy and his flex foils were everywhere. Now, the nice thing about the jumping is that when the kites are straight up, they don't, they don't develop much pull at all. But by bringing them into the wind, use your weight. And what you do with your weight is you throw it back as the kites are going down. And once they start to pull real hard, you release. And that's where you get all your forward momentum jumping. That is just fun to escape. I mean, it's like, it's like water skiing. It's like uh, ski boarding. The more air you can get, the more fun it is. So to be able to yank these things into the wind and then release with a little bit of air, that's where the fun comes in. Finally, later on in the day, the winds picked up, and Troy was finally able to really show us his stuff, not only out on the ocean, but on the beach, and even up in the air. surrounded by water and that makes sky skiing really easy because uh, it's always easy to get to a beach the best thing to do if you don't have a chase boat to follow you is you find yourself a bay or an angle off at the shore like this over here by adding the extra 10 foot you can actually cut away from the beach as well so you can run a lot of parallel runs to the beach needless to say there's some danger in kite skiing so don't run out and try to imitate Troy not yet his sport is still in the developmental stages and where can it all go? Well, Troy Navarro has his sights set high. Well, with this sport, what I'd like to be able to do is start doing some long-distance runs, like maybe between the Hawaiian Islands, uh, as well as help support the program where they're using the uh, flexi pole power kites for sails for sailboats, where they actually anchor the cords that fly the kites to the deck of the boat. That way you don't have to accommodate a large mast and sail. There's a lot of possibilities for the flex foil power kite wing because of its weight, uh, as well as its maneuverability. 
And by the way, you can contact Troy at Prince Bill's Restaurant in the Weston on Kauai, or on the Wailua River, where he and his friend teach water skiing to folks that someday might just become kite skiers. When Troy Navarro tries to kite ski from one island to another, your portrait's crew will be there to cheer him on. When we come back, you'll meet Honolulu artist Ramsey, whose quill pen and India ink artwork is absolutely incredible.